Hanna Bintu Halan is a controversial Norwegian historian of religions, well known for public debate in Norway, where she is frequently used in TV and the media as a writer and commentator. She has recently written an already much debated book called Alarm, a culture in crisis, where she openly attacks radicals and liberals in Europe for putting too much emphasis on material and technological development the past 30 years, rather than focusing on solidarity and the sense of morality. She says we need a renewed pride in the traditional European culture values that once made this civilization so great. She claims that it's a paradox that Norway, which is rated as one of the world's richest countries, struggles with such serious social problems such as drug abuse, depression, psychiatric needs, poor schooling system, lack of respect for authorities and lack of family stability. In this book, um, I ask the question, what is it with Europe and the seemingly endless need to look down on our own cultural values in order to meet foreigners that move into Europe with respect? Why and how did we come into this situation where we actually look down on our own cultural heritage? I blame the radicals and the liberals in Europe for so quickly having forgotten the real meaning and the greatness of the European civilization and many of the values that actually made this civilization so great. There is a reason why so many people want to move to Europe. We have stable states, we have welfare systems, we have human rights, we have a concept of tolerance, we have equal uh, equality. There's a whole lot of ideals that actually came from much of the Christian roots in our culture that we today, because of the liberals and because of the radicals, who have had the tendency to look down on our own cultural values, because of that, we have lost the respect for the teacher. There's no respect for police anymore. There's no respect for traditional values. What happened to the family? We have forgotten some of the valuable uh, ideals in our own culture. And much of that is also because of the radicals, because they have demeaned the family, they have demeaned the traditional values. And we see today a hedonistic, and what can I say, a selfishness amongst Europeans. We must not forget that the Ten Commandments and the values and the morality in the Ten Commandments was really the glue that held Europe and its democratic foundations together. We should not be so afraid of speaking like I do now. Many will say, you're speaking with a nationalistic voice. But then again, remember, many of the countries like France, like England, were created in a hub of constructive and uh, constructive nationalistic moods. We also have the chauvinistic moods. We've seen that in Europe and we never want to go back to that, which is why we need to support our Muslim brothers today, because there is no contradiction between upholding our own cultural values and being proud of being a European. This is what you see when you travel to the Middle East. I travel in the Middle East a lot and in other foreign countries. They are proud of being Muslims and Arabs. That doesn't necessarily mean that they hate Christians or do not respect other religions. I think we need to attack the hostility against religions in the radicals of Europe today. And we need to embrace the fact that we need religious freedom. We need to respect our Muslim brothers. And we need, at the same time, to start upholding some of the traditional valuable values that founded the European great culture, such as faithfulness, to take care of the elderly, to respect each other, to be faithful to each other and solidarity. We need to speak up against the tendency 
in Europe today that we lack morality, we go too far into selfishness. And we see how society starts to disintegrate. There's too many psychiatric problems in Europe today. We are too much focused on materialistic values. We are too much focused on technological progress. We need to focus, as I do in this book, on what the atheists and the great philosopher of Europe, Jürgen Habermas, says, which is partly what I write about, what he's said is also what I write about in this book. He says, we need not so quickly to forget about the values in the old European culture when we look ahead towards and forming the future for the European society. Doesn't globalization and pluralization necessarily imply that national European ideals are in the way of universal progress? On the contrary, not at all. This is what the radicals in Europe have said, that in order to respect our Muslim brother, we need to not be proud of our own cultural heritage. And this is not so. This is what we see uh, many philosophers of today actually say that there's no contradiction between the two. Because when you highly uphold valuable uh, traditions that stem from European culture, and there's many of them, we can still openly wish welcome to Europe any foreigner who comes here. And there's a lot of valuable uh, values also in the different cultures that, that come to Europe as well. So those go hand in hand and there should be no contradiction. Because of course, there is a positive side to, nation to being nationalistic. Namely, this was the creation of France, the creation of England. But then again, we have a chauvinistic, nationalistic view, which we saw during World War II, and that we do not want to have again in Europe. But it's also a mistake not to be allowed to be proud of your own cultural heritage in fear of turning into something which was not good. This is why we need to see that there is no contradiction in being proud of who you are as a culture and at the same time wishing foreigners welcome.